Well, thanks for showing up. Big numbers. Um, my name is Jeroen van der Berg. Um, I'm a board member of the Dutch Troop Association. And what I would like to show you today is quickly an overview of what we do as an association to help our partners and our uh, agencies in the Netherlands to promote Drupal. And hopefully, I'm not sure if there's people from any other associations here, but you can take something away uh, today. So a quick overview about us. We are a board of seven currently. Um, I'm in the, the bottom right, actually our uh, um, a chair is sitting right there, Imre. Um, and I, what I want to highlight here is what makes us a bit special compared to other local associations is that we actually have two um, freelance um, marketing employees or um, employees, maybe not the right word, but people that help us with do marketing. Um, Mara on the top, she's working for four hours a week for us. Um, she does that paid. And at the bottom, it's Matthijs. He is a freelance journalist and marketeer. And he is currently working for about the same amount of hours for us a week, um, but actually doing it as a contribution. And that's actually one of the first things I would like to highlight. We achieved that he signed up to Drupal.org to create a profile and actually contributed to the Drupal ecosystem by delivering qualitative content for us as a journalist. So um, that's really cool. Um, the next thing for us as an association is to define what we stand for, what we would like to um, accomplish. So we looked at the why, how, what so uh, model, which defines the, the why, what, why do we do what we do, uh, the how, what are our tactics to do so, and the what, what are our operational actions to achieve that. And this is basically our tagline there. Um, we are a group of passionate people in service of Drupal um, to promote Drupal um, to potential developers, um, partner agencies, and users which can be uh, either existing or um, uh, new ones. And that kind of relates quite a bit to what Dries has been um, presenting and promoting um, uh, in the past few years as well. This slide is from the Dries note of last year. And it's not for nothing that um, the left track, the golden track um, on that mountain is actually a marketing track. Um, um, as he has been um, advocating, um, it's very important that we do marketing and promote Drupal as we are um, constantly competing against other more commercial, flashy, shiny marketing machines from other um, systems. So that aligns pretty nicely. Um, we define some target audiences um, as an association because at first we were just doing what we thought was good and we try to put a little bit more um, of a strategy behind it. So the three target audiences already were part of our um, mission, um, but they are the Drupal devs or the professionals, um, they are agencies, and finally they are our users and clients. And diving a little bit further um, into that, um, we, we specified their needs and how we could help them um, in achieving those needs or in, in, in accommodating for those needs. So. A professional, he or she would like to connect, to be part of a community. Um, uh, knowledge is an important part. She would like to learn and, and know more about the system, but also some confirmation. And the confirmation that I made the right choice to do this job. I made the right choice in this technology. I did the right thing to join this company. So assurance is an important part of that um, target audience for us. And that's what we're trying to um, facilitate. Um, how do we do that? Mainly currently with organizing events. Um, we have a large Drupal camp called Drupal Jam in the Netherlands that's uh, about 450 people every year. It, is a, it was a two-day event um, last year consisting of a business day and a community day and we also have the Splash Awards um, that we organized internationally actually two days ago um, but it's a very big event there too which gives them the the confirmation mainly we're doing the right thing together. Um, next up, agencies. So what agencies, um, what we can bring to agencies, what their needs are is knowledge sharing, not just knowledge about Drupal itself, but actually about doing business, getting more clients, growing. How do I grow? What are threats for an agency if I don't grow? Or 
what are threats if um, people developers are leaving or threats with hiring so knowledge sharing is an important part of that um, new business I mean of course every agency wants business so we, we're checking how we can facilitate that and finally hiring new people mainly developers is a challenge I think for everybody in the Netherlands but also worldwide I guess for agencies um, how we do and facilitate that um, we uh, have a partner program basically all agencies can become a member um, for a certain fee and for the partner program we organize uh, business meetups um, for example we had the business track in our Drupal camp um, and we are actually investing um, in 2020 next year more to connect those agencies and have them learn from each other. Um, we do quite a bit of content marketing. All those agencies promote themselves individually pretty well. Um, they are mainly doing um, uh, content marketing, showing their cases, case studies, and that's also what we take. So we assemble, we combine all those cases we have from the Splash Awards that we um, actually that our two freelance marketeers um, uh, get from them, do interviews with clients, and actually write up case studies and publish them in the media. And finally, we help the agencies with the events as set. Third, target audience, um, users and clients. Um, they are looking for knowledge. They need to know what's Drupal, um, what is it about, can it help me? They are looking for some assurance. Is it safe, is it secure, um, is it, is it really the right uh, the right tool for me and finally existing clients are also looking for confirmation did i make the right choice is this still the community and the product that i want to belong to and the things we do to the, um, to help that um, is again the content marketing part to show all those cases and all those cool solutions that our agencies have built in um, in our country um, that gives the assurance and the, the, that shows actually the ability and we do PR, um, press releases mainly. Um, just to so zoom in quickly on the um, partner program, um, we have three tiers and basically the agency pays um, 1250 or 500 euros and that's why um, how we can fund all this. So that's an important part of everything I'm showing after. Um, this is the main backbone of how we do what we do. In return, as said, we have a business meetup twice a year. Um, they get discounts for events for the developers. We do advertising, we do press releases and content marketing. And I just copy and pasted this slide from our yearly uh, business meetup um, a few weeks back, um, which shows you the funds. So we have roughly 7K more to go this year to actually um, do some more promotion, but our budget is 25 on a yearly basis, which is pretty good for an association. Um, the strategy behind everything we do is hung up um, on the Google Hero, he <coughs> Hero Hub Hygiene model. So basically you try to do once or twice a year something really big and make a big, big impact there. Um, then on the next level there's hub content, which is really quality, engaging content that you produce and you, it gen generates brand awareness and trust. And finally there's some hygiene, um, some stuff just, that just needs to be there. It's like an FAQ or a how-to or what is Drupal content or maybe a short press release. And if I translate that to um, what we do, um, the heroes for us are our camp and the special awards. Um, it's presence at other events that I will show you after. The hub content is content uh, marketing and the hygiene are press releases and regular advertising. So how do we do that? We basically created a content calendar uh, for a year. I'm not sure. It's pretty readable. And actually we define for every week of the year what we are going to produce and promote. And this really helps the two freelance uh, marketeers that we have to actually plan ahead and make sure we have enough content, enough stuff going on every year. Of, I mean, throughout the year. So finally, um, some examples. So when it's all in place, when we have people, when we have the funds, what, what have we done? Um, for example, we do PR. Um, there's always um, press releases um, from. In, there's always messages in the news about Drupal, and we 
pick up on that and if need if needed we respond to it we really try to position ourselves as the Drupal authority in the country and for example this was a, a, a the uh, in 2018 when the uh, security issue with Drupal uh, came across there was a lot of bad press um, also in the Netherlands and pretty quickly the Drupal security team responded to that with a press release in English and stuff we do is actually um, take that um, and respond to it. This is a Dutch article, but when you translate it, it's basically saying that the Dutch Drupal Association responds to the recent media coverage about security issues in Drupal. And there we explain actually what the threat was, how it was solved, how bad it was or not actually. And we try to give a different voice to the press and the media. We've been present at um, events and we actually uh, target business events there. So the E-Day is an event in the Netherlands that attracts 1500 plus CMOs, CTOs and digital managers. Um, and actually we try to be visible there to make sure that they see us side by side with all those other big um, platforms and that they actually get to know us and remember us whenever they are in need of a product. Um, we are partnering up. RTL is one of the biggest uh, news broadcasters in the Netherlands, and RTL Z specifically is a television station targeted to um, to business businesses and business owners. And the cool thing about them is they run their online platforms actually on Drupal, so they were really uh, willing to step in and do something as well. So they are contri contributing with content. And we are actually getting a podium there to um, publish our um, uh, content, our cases, our messages on their platform, which attracts 2 million unique visitors per day. So if there's something like this in your local organization, in your local country, if there's media running on Drupal, those were, are probably the first ones you want to target because they are using the platform and probably also willing to contribute back to us. Um, Messaging content marketing quite a lot. Uh, this is an example of a case. Um, 24 Kitchen, which is a television station from Fox. Um, uh, basically, we do an interview with them and write up a big case study and publish it in, in um, regular mainstream uh, media and uh, magazines. Um, we do interviews. Dries was passing by uh, uh, Amsterdam Airport last year. So we did a big interview and actually at all said the, the platform I mentioned earlier, they are willing to, um, they have published it on their platforms uh, and sponsored the, the production of it. Um, something else to take out, um, we do our uh, branding quite seriously. So um, all our camps, this is the Drupal Jam, uh, Drupal Jam uh, branding. Um, we try to be consistent year after year after year because that's the only way in all our communication, in all our brands, to, uh, to make sure that we gain recognizability. Um, which is the same for the Splash Awards that was fully rebranded this year. And we are rolling out as an open source concept now to other countries. So, in short, um, for local associations, what we found working and what I would like to give to you today is First of all, strategy first. Define your goals and values. Define who you're talking to. Define how you would like to do that. And then, secondly, build your brand. Be consistent with it. Make sure it's always clear, it's always the same, and repeat it, because that's, in the end, what it is. If you repeat the same message, the same visuals, the same logo, everything again and again, it will stick. Um, plan. Make sure you plan your activities um, far ahead. We, uh, as you've seen, we work with yearly, um, uh, yearly plans, and that helps us to easily divide tasks and actually get more things done. Um, the fourth one, it's okay to invest. Um, it's funny, we, um, we got the feedback from our partners the first year we did the partner program, um, and we did a financial report that um, we had quite a few um, uh, funds on our banking account and the first feedback we got is why is it still there? We're paying you to do stuff. So if you have some funds, use them and make sure that you use them well. Spend it, learn from it and improve it. And finally, engage through, your, through new channels, build your own PR list. That's um, 
actually a very important one that we have found. Make sure you know which media runs on Drupal. Make sure you know which people work at which uh, outlets and connect with them directly. Um, build it up, send them regular messages, give them scoops, give them uh, uh, messages on the embargo, but make sure you have your list ready whenever you need to publish something because otherwise you're creating all this content for nothing. That's it. That's what we do. And if there's questions or... Yeah. Sure. I think you're supposed to... Yeah. But I can, yeah, or I can repeat. Hello. Uh, so, different agency are part of the Drupal Association. Yes. Uh, but you expose a uni unified front when you are present at a conference. Yes. How do you manage those different agencies not to compete with each other with the potential clients that will be there? That, that's a good question. Um, we currently have, I'm looking to the side, but a, a, approximately 30 um, agencies that are a partner and then there's also a few individual members. And as you say correctly, we, um, we present all of them. So we have a, uh, a few different rules. Um, uh, for example, when we publish case studies, or, uh, um, we always make sure we rotate to um, our agency and partner list. So we make sure we don't take just the fancy and shiny cases only from one big agency, but we make sure we, we get the highlight from multiple uh, ones. We never mention the agency name. We actually always try to interview the customer because that's what a potential customer would, would like to hear, how their success was um, built upon Drupal, how their business was helped with their online pl platform um, and not so much why agency X or Y made a technical choice. It's not about the technology per se, it's actually about the business case. That's how we um, 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 write those case studies. And um, when we are actually present at the events, it's always under the Drupal, Drupal logo. So Drupal NL, we have our own branding as well, and then it's the neutral Drupal branding. And if we present cases, we make sure everybody can contribute to it. So we always present, a, um, give a clear overview of different agencies that are part of us. Anything else? Very cool. That's it. Keep up and go. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you.